Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Heath, the Miami Realtor, aka the Jiu Jitsu Realtor, fighting for his clients. And today, I wanted to take y'all on a journey with me and let's drive around some Miami neighborhoods because I've been reading a lot of art articles on the real deal. And I just know from just being in the business and being in the field, there's a lot of people from New York moving to Miami. And a lot of them usually move to like three different neighborhoods. But I see a lot of realtors, a lot of Miami, South Florida realtors, they usually are only advertising three different neighborhoods as if these are the only neighborhoods that exist. So today I wanted to drive through six neighborhoods. I'm gonna talk about the, the main three that everyone talks about, but I'm also gonna talk about some, I don't even wanna call them alternatives because they're equally great uh, in their own way and they're cheaper to, to move to. So I wanted to talk about uh, these neighborhoods drive around with me and and um, let's learn something <laughs> about the about um, Miami now I just want to say like I'm a little bit annoyed right now because my last video the audio was messed up because I was wearing my airpod and everything got recorded through my airpod and the audio was just bad and I did not want to record that video so what I did get, which I already had, I have this Bluetooth mic, which, you know, connects to my phone, but I can't even use it because the port on my phone is broken. Like, I cannot use the port on my phone. I have to charge my phone wirelessly. So <sighs> that is really frustrating, but uh, I'll just have to record the audio through my phone and fix this another day. So hopefully everything comes out good. But I see you guys in the car. Okay guys, we're in the car and I got on my hat and I have my list of where we're going. I have no idea how I'm gonna record and drive, but we're gonna do this. So we're gonna be going to six different neighborhoods and I wrote down a list of all the neighborhoods we're gonna be going to. Like I was saying earlier before, the main three neighborhoods that get a lot of, um, I would say, advertisement from other realtors in South Florida, Pinecrest, Coconut Grove, Coral Gables. They're all beautiful neighborhoods. We're gonna be driving through them today. But there's also three other neighborhoods we're, we're gonna go through as well, which I feel are equally as great and they're cheaper to move to. And that's Palmetto Bay, South Miami, and the Falls area. So first we're gonna be going to Pinecrest because it's closest to my office. And uh, we'll just be driving through, seeing the streets and the lifestyle of Pinecrest. Okay guys, we're in Pinecrest right now. And I just wanna give off a little of some facts. The price range of Pinecrest as of this video is one million dollars to 15 million dollars and that's for single family you can get into a condo in pinecrest for around 350 and up and that's like a one one uh pinecrest is a neighborhood that has very large lots um usually the lots are an acre or more uh it's very quiet it's a family oriented neighborhood it's close to stores because pinecrest does border us1 which is a main street down here, which has uh, tons of shopping. Every store you can think of is alongside US-1. And it's a beautiful area with lots of trees and greenery. Um, typically, the homes here are larger. The lots here are larger. Great for large families. And um, it's just a great family neighborhood, I would say. But it is kind of pricey. 1 million to 15 million. And this is Pinecrest. Next stop, we're gonna be going to Coconut Grove, which is my favorite um, neighborhood in Miami because I have a lot of family over there and I kind of celebrated a lot of 
holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving over there. So I'm familiar with that area a lot. Um, this is probably the second most expensive area on this list. Uh, Coconut Grove, it starts a little bit lower than Pinecrest. You can get in Coconut Grove for 750,000 in a single family, but it goes all the way up to 48 million. And those are kind of like the penthouses over there because Coconut Grove does have like a downtown area. Um, the condos start at 280. And again, that is like a one, one, uh, 850 square feet. It's a small condo. Um, Coconut Grove is a historic area. It's a historic neighborhood. It's actually the oldest, I believe it's the oldest neighborhood in Miami. It's Coconut Grove. I believe the Bahamian people and island people came over and originally built Coconut Grove and settled over here. So when we drive to Coconut Grove, you'll see like a lot of homes that are made of wood. They call them shotgun houses. And they literally look like shacks now by today's standard. But these homes are like, some of them are over 100 years old. And it's just a beautiful area. But let me read what I wrote. <laughs> it's a historic neighborhood, great for people who love the outdoors and nature. It's close to the water, has lots of banyan trees. The downtown area has lots of shops and dining. Yeah, that pretty much sums up Coconut Grove. guys next neighborhood we're going to is coral gables also known as the city beautiful why is it called that honestly coral gables is probably one of the most beautiful cities and places you can live in south florida um let me look at my list i'm driving right now we're gonna make it work okay coral gables uh, has a strong Spanish influence. Uh, the original builder of Coral Gables wanted to model it like Spain, similar to Spain. So when you come down here, you see all the architecture is very like Spanish influenced. It's a historical area, historical area as well, just like Coconut Grove. And it has many of the top high-end gated communities in South Florida. It has a large downtown area centrally located so it's close to everything many tree canopies very green and it has a lot of variety for potential homeowners so it kind of has a little bit of something for everybody if you want like that downtown bustling area they have that they have condos and apartments and hotels that you can live in and stay for you know as long as you want a res the residencies that's what they call them in hotels they also have um smaller homes which <laughs> i say is like a 3 2 1500 square foot which is kind of like a normal home but some of the homes in coral gables are so large they're like mansions i have to say those are like the smaller type of homes and then you have the large like mansion type homes in um coral gables um alongside the golf course because there is a golf course kind of country club area on the west side of us1 and then on the east side of us1 you have a lot of the gated uh, communities in coral gables and these are the peak of the peak when it comes to gated communities in south florida i don't think you can get to a nicer community unless maybe you're on a private island or something so Next is Coral Gables, and let's see what they have to offer.
Okay, now, okay guys, we've seen some of the high-end neighborhoods in South Miami and the ones that a lot of realtors talk about all the time. Some, maybe if you don't live here, maybe you've heard the name, but I wanna talk about um, three other neighborhoods which I think are equally as great and honestly are adjacent to these high-end neighborhoods. And these are also pretty developed high-end neighborhoods as well. So we're first gonna start with South Miami which is um, adjacent to Coral Gables and Pinecrest, respectively. And the price range for South Miami, starting at $475,000, going up to $5 million for a single family home. Condos start around $250,000. South Miami is a great place for families. It's centrally located, like the other um, neighborhoods we've seen because they're literally like right next to each other. And um, quiet streets, beautiful parks, very green, beautiful neighborhood. Let's go see South Miami. South Miami. I, South Miami is underrated, low key. I forgot to mention the city's tagline for South Miami is the city of pleasant living. And I can definitely say you get that vibe, you get that um, atmosphere from, um, from South Miami. It's just, it's quiet, it's quaint, it's small. It's actually, I believe the smallest city of the six, but the next one I'm going to show you right now is Palmetto Bay. And Palmetto Bay is a great neighborhood. Um, price range starting at 650000 going up, all the way up to $5.8 million. It's very quiet. It's a family-oriented neighborhood. Great schools in that area. Lots of parks. It's actually the tagline for Palmetto Bay is called uh, City of Parks. I believe because they have a lot of nice parks that you can go to and um, it's close to everything because it's adjacent to Pinecrest um, the street 136th Street basically separates Pinecrest and um, Palmetto Bay so they're basically in the same area so you're close to everything and Palmetto Bay what can I say about it um, it's just a beautiful area. It's on the east side. I would say it's like Pinecrest, but not as expensive. The lots still are large. You get lots that are half an acre on a lot of the homes over there. There's a lot of variety. The city's building a lot of new developments over there in terms of like condo buildings and everything. So it's really a heavy, it's a heavy, heavy residential area. A lot of single family homes and a lot of people lived in Palmetto Bay for decades. So it's rare to get, you know, a house up for sale in that area. If you see a house up for sale in that area, that area is beautiful. I would say, calm down and let me show you around the area if you're interested in it. And just, just know that it's gonna go fast because homes don't go up for sale in that area a lot. Very, very strong community over there. So let's go check out Palmetto Bay.
couldn't possibly show all of Palmetto Bay because um, after Coral Gables, that's definitely the largest um, city here. But we're gonna go and it's start, it looks like it's starting to rain. So I wanna wrap up the video and see the last area, which is returning close to where my office is, the falls area. And the falls area is really unique. It's not incorporated like the other areas, but it's very nice, very well maintained. Um, it's close to the Falls Shopping Center. That's why it's called the Falls area. And it's close to a lot of dining and restaurants. But let me read what I wrote once again. <laughs> um, the price range is starting off at 900000 going up to $2.4 million. In the Falls area, you get a lot of large lots. Um, the homes typically are 1970s and up. And lifestyle let's see large lots it's west of us1 this is the first neighborhood by the way that is west of us1 all the other neighborhoods were on the east side of us1 which is closer to the water so they tend to be more expensive and uh, insurance tend to be more expensive because you need flood insurance a lot of the times because you know florida already or south florida already is um below sea level or if it's above sea level, it's not by that much, like 10 feet or something. So this is out west, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. So that's a benefit of living over there. Usually the property taxes are lower um, west of US-1 as well. And let's see, it's close to the Falls Shopping Center and many restaurants and uh, it's just a great area to live. Um, Yeah, I, I really can't say anything else about it. It's a great area to live. Uh, beautiful homes, large homes, a uh, lot of variety to choose from. Not really condos over there. It's more of a residential area like Palmetto Bay. Um, yeah, let's go see the falls. Okay guys, and we're back in the office. I hope that video was um, somewhat informational. Uh, if you are interested in any of these neighborhoods, learning more in depth, I couldn't go super in depth because this video would have been three hours long. But I just wanted to speak about some of the best neighborhoods I think are the best neighborhoods in Miami. Again, the first one we seen was Pinecrest, which is right across the street from our office. And then we seen Coconut Grove, my personal favorite. Uh, then we seen Coral Gables, City Beautiful. Then we seen Palmetto Bay, uh, City of Parks. I could not show all of Palmetto Bay because Palmetto Bay is huge. Um, South Miami, I skipped over South Miami. City of Pleasant Living. Uh, that is an underrated gem, in my opinion. And then we ended it with the Falls, which is the only unincorporated city um, that we've seen, but it's still a beautiful area. As you've seen, very large lots, and it's more affordable than the, the first four, you know? So if you're interested in moving to Miami, or if you live in Miami, you're interested in moving to one of these neighborhoods or learning more about it, Go ahead, contact me. Um, all my contact information is in the bio, the description below, and it's at the end of this video. Again, I am Heath the Miami Realtor, AKA the Jiu Jitsu Realtor fighting for my clients. And see you guys later. <laughs>